So as we all know, APROP is a severe disease and unless treated in time, it can result in uh, very rapid uh, and early vision loss and permanent vision loss. And we expect that uh, anti-V jobs compared to laser monotherapy are regarded as a better treatment modality, where APROP, at least in India, remains the most common indication of use of anti-V jobs in ROP. And when it comes to the agent which needs to be used, bevacizumab and ranizumab, they remain the most commonly used agents. However, if you see anti vjap and ROP, there are definitely concerns and most important of which remain reactivation of the disease, need for longer follow-up and uh, uh, persistent avascular retina. But <coughs> what is missing in this story is when we come to the clinical practice or real life scenario, uh, there are no head-to-head -head comparison where we are uh, telling the parents about uh, which anti VJAP they can actually go for for their own baby in cases of APROP. So with this uh, background, actually we designed this study to uh, evaluate the reactivation in infants who were treated with uh, either ranibizumab or bevacizumab. And uh, <coughs> the main objective of this study was to uh, actually report the rate of reactivation and compare between the two groups. And secondary objectives were to report the time of reactivation and structural outcome between the two groups and identify factors which are associated with reactivation and regression with permanent avascular retina. So this was a single center retrospective case series approved by Institute Ethics Committee. And we have used commercially available ranuzumab that is Acentrix and Avastin for this purpose. The injections were given half the dose of adult at 1.5 millimeter from the limbus, either in NICU or in ophthalmic OT. And we defined reactivation as per the ICROP3, which means there is a reappearance of the acute stage retinopathy changes after initial regression following intrauteral injection. And uh, these are the results. So uh, during the study period, we had around 322 babies diagnosed with APROP. We excluded uh, 214 and included 108 babies for the current study, of which 55 were treated with ranibzumab and 53 were treated with uh, bevacizumab. If you look at the baseline characteristics of uh, demographics and clinical feature, they were comparable between the two groups. Now coming to the rate of reactivation, if you see here, uh, infants treated with ranizumab had around 93% of them had a reactivation compared to around 53% which was seen with bevacizumab and this was statistically significant. If you look at the reactivation interval, babies treated with ranizumab tend to reactivate much earlier, around 7 to 8 weeks, while those treated with ranizumab, they reactivated around 13 weeks after the initial injection and this was also significant. Irrespective of the drug used, if you see, uh, the reactivation was most commonly in the form of peripheral retinopathy, meaning the stage is appearing again and reactivation occurred in zone two. If you look at the structural outcome, irrespective of the drug, both the groups had very good structural outcome at the final visit, but both the groups had less than 10% of the babies who actually achieved complete vascularization of retina and persistent avascular retina was very commonly seen with avastin, which was significant. Now coming to the factors associated with reactivation, multivariate and univariate uh, Cox regression analysis showed that babies treated with ranibizumab had an average 3.4 times higher chances of uh, reactivation compared to bevacizumab and babies treated with bevacizumab had approximately 10 times higher possibility of regression with a persistent avascular retina. So these are the representative images, uh, those treated with IVR uh, having reactivation and treated with rescue laser. And these are with uh, bevacizumab, again treated with uh, bevacizumab and had a reactivation, again rescue laser is being done. So there is no study as such which has actually compared ranibizumab and bevacizumab head to head in babies with APROP. A recent study by Dr. Nimish Patel in USA, it was a multicentric study, they showed that rate of retreatment actually was much more in babies with APROP and it was particularly higher if the babies were treated with ranibzumab. So conclude, if babies with APROP are treated with ranibzumab, they had a higher chances of reactivation, which is much earlier. And if they are treated with bevacizumab, the chances of reactivation are less, the reactivation is delayed and they have higher chances of uh, regression with PAR. So how do I counsel the parents now that both the drugs are equally effective in terms of structural outcome. If you go for ranizumab, there will be reactivation which is much earlier and would need second treatment. And if you go for bevacizumab, uh, reactivation is late, but you will need a longer follow-up because we don't know management of PAR. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank